Good morning, Movement family. My name is Lindsay. I have the privilege to bring you guys this daily devotional today. Uh, Pastor Pat's been walking us through Easter and then the time shortly thereafter Easter for the past couple weeks where Peter and John have rolled up at the tomb. They find that the tomb's empty. They have the question asked themselves, are they going to look in the tomb? Are they going to step in the tomb? And are they going to follow Jesus because he's on the move as the risen Lord this morning? I want to look at this scripture this morning from the perspective of Mary Magdalene. Um, in John chapter 20, verse 15, Jesus has just risen from the grave and he encounters Mary Magdalene in the garden um, where Jesus was laid. And so picking up in verse 15, this is Jesus speaking. He says, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will go get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Guys, Mary did not recognize who Jesus was. But then Jesus speaks her name out to her. And I know that seems inconsequential or insignificant, but I'm speaking to you guys this morning who feel like you might be stuck. You feel like you might be disqualified from following Jesus where he's moving. You feel like your past might disqualify. You feel like the present circumstances you're in might disqualify. You feel like you're too busy this morning. You feel like there's a whole plethora of excuses why you cannot follow Jesus where he is moving this morning. And I want to encourage you guys, Mary, who was just in Jesus's presence for a, a couple years, doesn't recognize him. First of all, she doesn't recognize him. Second of all, the only thing it takes for her to recognize him is for him to speak her true name over her. And that's my, that's my message for you guys this morning. If you guys feel disqualified, if you feel stuck, if you feel unworthy, all it takes to be moved out of that place is to allow Jesus to speak your true name over you. And how does that happen? The only way that happens is to have a face-to-face -face encounter with him as the risen Lord. Mary comes into Jesus' presence. He's risen. They're looking face-to-face -face with one another, and Jesus speaks her name over her. This morning, that's my encouragement to you guys. Find time to get face-to-face -face with the risen Lord Jesus and allow him to speak your name over you, not as the world calls you, not as your pursuit of success or relationships or work or friendships or fill in the blank, performance, whatever it is, not as the world calls you, but as Jesus calls you in your true name. Seek him out this morning in his word. Seek him out in worship. Seek him out in prayer. Seek him out in any of the various forms of community that we've laid out before you, Wednesday Night Live, our, our Zoom community groups, our Sunday morning gathering. There's so many opportunities for you guys to engage. And as you engage with our community collectively, you're engaging with the body of Christ. And so you're experiencing different aspects of who Jesus is by engaging in community. And so if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling disconnected this morning, that's my encouragement to you guys. Find moments to look at him face to face, eye to eye, and allow him to minister to your heart, to speak your true name over you. And I believe that has the power to get anyone unstuck from any situation. But it's something that you have to do moment to moment and day to day. I love you guys. Thanks for letting me uh, minister to you this morning out of the Word of God. I uh, look forward to many more daily devotionals coming for you, and I look forward to the day we can gather again in person. Love you much. Bye.